Hey guys, welcome back to Andrew Invest, another portfolio update for you today. When I first started investing, I found it really difficult to move beyond investing in basic ETFs because there wasn't enough information on YouTube or otherwise on how to pick good stocks and how to tell bad stocks apart from them. Now that I'm a few years into my investing journey, I wanted to share my process with you guys and also share the journey that I go through. So with that said, I think it's really appropriate that today I'm going to show you why I sold out of one of my first ever stock holdings, Boeing, and I bought more into one of my favorite stocks right now, Alter Beauty. So as you can see, I sold out of Boeing at a fairly hefty loss, around $500, but it was a lot less in pound terms, only around 180 pounds due to currency fluctuations. A lot of that was taken up by trading fees, and that's a reminder to not use some of these old school brokers that charge ridiculous fees on trades. So there were actually three main reasons why I sold out of Boeing. And without further ado, let's get into the first one. Reason number one, Boeing is not the same company post COVID as it was before COVID. When I first invested into Boeing, I didn't really have a strong process for how to identify quality companies to hold for the long term, like I do now, in my opinion. So this was kind of just a play on travel rebounding post COVID to the levels seen before COVID and thus airplane orders also rebounding and Boeing making the same kind of profits that it was before. However, although travel has rebounded, Boeing share price has not. And there are a number of reasons for that. And I want to get into that now. Let's assume that in 2017, Boeing's share price, which is the same as it is now, was absolutely fairly valued. So right now, the company should be doing around the same revenue, have the same debt, have the same kind of story as it did in 2017. This is a graph of Boeing's revenue over the last 15 years or so. As we can clearly see, Boeing's revenue is nowhere near its 2017 levels. It's currently sitting at 2012 levels and a recovery back up to those numbers is gonna be really difficult due to supply chain constraints on the company. This difference since pre-COVID is also reflected in the free cash flow figures. As we can see here, they're still at 2011 levels. The company itself does have a target to raise free cash flow to around $10 billion per year by 2025, but that is a very optimistic case and the company's made targets before which they failed to reach that still would be below 2017 levels as well that brings me on nicely to point number two debt boeing has taken on a huge amount of debt during the covid crisis to pay for the loss of all of its customers and demand now even if the company does recover to that 10 billion a year free cash flow figures how much of that will have to be redirected into paying off the debt rather than rewarding shareholders? In my opinion, a huge amount of it because interest rates have risen so much after, over the last few years that this is in the interest of the company to do right now. And I don't blame them. If we look at the share count of the company, we can see that shareholder value is no longer prioritized over debt. And we can see that the share count decre was decreasing by a steady amount year over year before COVID, whereas now it has started to go up. I don't like being diluted as a shareholder and neither should you. In addition, if we look at the dividend, it was paid before in 2019, but it hasn't been paid since. And I don't think that there will be any plans to reinstate it for a few years at the bare minimum. Last of all, opportunity cost. So for a long, long time, I was scared of selling, selling out of Boeing at a loss because I didn't want to lose money on that trade and I wanted to wait for it to recover and be back in the green before I sold Boeing. But now I realize that that's kind of a stupid mentality to have because in the time whilst I'm waiting for Boeing to recover to pre-COVID levels, I might have missed out on a great opportunity in a stock which could have doubled or tripled in that same amount of time. So I'd much rather invest in a business which I have strong belief in the fundamentals and the story of that business rather than wait on Boeing to slowly creep back up to my original buy price. So that's why I pulled the trigger on Boeing at last. 
So what did I do with the money that I got from selling out Boeing? Of course, I reinvested it back into Alter Beauty. It's a company I've been buying shares in for a while now. And after its recent earnings report, it dropped significantly in price around 20% or so. And I thought it represented really good value at that share price. So I took the opportunity to buy more shares and lower my cost basis to around $470. That means I'm still down about 15%, but I plan to buy more shares if my holdings drop below $7,000 and just keep buying more and more. I might even add more at this current price as well because I think it represents such good value. So today I wanna to explain my thoughts on the earnings report and tell you why I think the market is overreacting. Let's use this Yahoo Finance video to get a broad overview of the earnings report and then we can go into it in further detail. Shares of Alta trading lower down uh, double digits this morning, down about 11, 10 percent, 10 and a half percent. The company did beat analyst expectations on earnings and revenue earnings at 688 a share. That doesn't matter, though. Investors aren't liking the company's full year outlook. So if we look at the actual revenue and earnings figures, they beat on both of them for Q1, which would be in itself positive news. But obviously the stock dropped anyway for the reasons she's about to explain. The cosmetics retailer lowered its forecast for operating margins, now expecting 14.5 to 14.8%, down from 14.7 to 15%. One of the factors hurting margins, and we heard this talked about at various retailers, is shrink, as they call it, or theft, as we know it, a story we've been seeing at a lot. So I highlighted this in a previous video about retailers that margin shrinks or theft is going up significantly and it could derail earnings season for some of them. And it has proven to be true, at least for Target and Ulta. So Ulta actually projected higher revenue for the year than what was expected as well. But that small amount of margin shrink has meant that there are less earnings per share figures for the year projected. And that's what's caused the market to sell off, thinking that growth in the company has potentially slowed down. In my opinion, margin shrink due to theft and inventory shrink is temporary. I think they will be there for the next couple of years whilst inflation is high, but I do think that they will go down and be solved by the authorities and by the retailers themselves who are already projecting that they will have to keep goods in locked shelves and whatnot. As we know, price to earnings ratios are dependent on growth. The higher the price to earnings ratio, the more growth uh, the market is expecting from that company. But right now, Alter's price to earnings ratio is around 17, which is the lowest historically the company has ever had, which means that the market is pricing in, slowing to very little growth over the next few years. However, I think this is a little bit premature. The company is targeting around 1.5 to 1.7K stores in the US, and it's currently only at 1.3K. So there's still room for expansion in the US. Not to mention, there have previously been plans for the company to expand internationally, especially into Canada, but that was shelved pre-COVID due to that pandemic. But I wouldn't be surprised if once that US target is hit, that international expansion resumes. And this could be a further driver for growth for the company. Ulta also continued its really successful share buyback program, buying around 1% of its shares back last quarter alone. And now the company has 5% less shares at the end of last quarter compared to the year before. That means you as a shareholder, if you've been holding for that long, now own 5% more of the company. So that's something to be really happy about. And there's more money in the share buyback scheme to be spent on buybacks and with the price dipping so much i think the company can potentially even raise it to six percent potentially at some point in the near future so with that said i think this explains why i sold out of boeing a company which i think is just not what it was pre-covid and into a company that I actually have a strong faith in the fundamentals. 
When Boeing dipped, because I didn't really have faith in the fundamentals, I didn't buy more of the company, whereas it's a lot easier to do that when you own a company like Alta that I personally have a lot of faith in the fundamentals in. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did stick around for this long, please leave me a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.